6, 2015, and as of today, I'm eight weeks post-op, and I'm down 41 pounds. Woohoo! I finally hit that 40 pound mark this last weekend, and I was super excited. So when I started my journey, I was wearing a size 20 pants, and I was wearing um, at least a 2X shirt. Uh, my t-shirts, I was wearing double XL, and uh, currently I am kind of in between sizes a little bit, but most of my pants are a regular 16 ladies. That is not a 16W, that is a regular 16, so I'm super excited. However, some of them are getting uh, big on me now, so I'm, I'm starting to come out of some of them. But my shirts, I am wearing just regular, um, like fitted uh, extra large shirts and wearing regular large t-shirts, um, like adult large. Um, so I've come down quite a bit in sizing and it feels really good. So all of you that are losing weight at some point in your life, you know that things start um, sagging, things start um, hanging more loose, um, the loose skin in certain areas. All you ladies know I'm talking about the girls hang south, so of course it's time to buy new bras. That's always a fun time. But then there's just all the loose excess skin everywhere else. Of course, I have the little second wave of my arm that I, I need to start working on. My legs, I need to start toning them up. So right now my focus, um, besides just walking my two miles um, five days a week, sometimes three miles. Actually, I'm in the market right now um, for looking for some type of weight machine, probably like a Bowflex, something to help me start toning certain areas. Um, so I'm gonna actually start doing a little bit more studying and research and seeing what exercises and different things will help um, certain areas like my arms and my legs um, and in my stomach. I have some loose skin hanging there a little bit, um, but to see how I can start toning that up. A common phrase we use uh, amongst the support group is a non-scale victory. And um, I actually had one of those this weekend. Um, I went to Six Flags with my entire family and for the first time in years, I was actually able to fit in all the seats of all the rides that I got on. I easily was able to pull the, the harnesses down, was able to get them to click a big number of times without it just clicking once or twice. So that was just a really cool feeling and to see that I was able to fit in the seats comfortably and not be all wedged in and sitting kind of on a hip just so that I could sit. Um, so that was a huge, huge victory. One of the main things that I have to do now um, since I've had surgery is plan ahead. And when I say plan ahead, I'm talking about food as far as what I can eat, where can I eat it at. So for example, when we went to Six Flags, um, you know, I know they have a lot of burgers and nachos and hot dogs and fried foods, um, just like you would at the state fair or somewhere else, any kind of amusement park. Um, so I actually, instead of being tempted or eating something that was too high um, in the fat content, then I just actually, I packed all of our lunches. We made a cooler um, full of our lunch food and water and put it in the back of the car. And when it was time to eat, we just walked out to the car and had our lunch. So I wasn't tempted with anything within the park. Um, not only did I eat healthy that day, I've got plenty of walking in and felt great the whole time I did it. But back to the food. Um, even when I go out to like fast food restaurants um, or just a sit down restaurant, I actually have to think ahead and plan ahead Ed has been very good about um, giving the option to me of where I want to go because he knows um, that I'm limited in what I can eat and wants me to be able to enjoy uh, what we're having as well. So he's actually here lately been just giving the decision up to me to pick where we go so that way I can plan ahead and have my meals set out um, before I even get there. Through this journey, there are difficult moments. Um, one of the things that just happened just a week before last was that I hit a stall. I didn't lose anything all week long, and you know, that is discouraging, especially when I've been dropping weight um, pretty steadily the way I have been, continuing my exercise, and I still, that week that I stalled, I was still eating the right foods, I was still exercising, but my body just plateaued out. Um, and I was trying not to get discouraged, and of course, the support group that we have through KBI, um, everyone hits a stall and I'm so thankful for that group because they're there to co continually to encourage us and remind us that we've all been there and for us to just keep taking it one day at a time and then all of a sudden it's like you drop two or three pounds overnight so um, that is actually right at the end before I hit my 40 pound mark I had lost three pounds and got right up to 39 and held that 39 for two days and then dropped to 40 so um, it was a, a kind of a difficult week but still it was ended in an exciting week.